Another method for removing grit is a velocity system that uses centrifugal force to separate the liquid from the solids. The solids are extracted from the outside edge of the spinning mass, while the liquid stream flows up and out from the center of the chamber under pressure. Not all of the materials to be removed are on the bottom of the tank. The following section is a review of math techniques that can be beneficial to wastewater treatment operators when computing sedimentation. The settling velocity is determined by the flow through the basin divided by the basin surface area or surface overflow rate. Notice that the depth of the sedimentation tank or clarifier is not a consideration in the calculation of surface overflow rate. Overflow rates depend on settling velocity of the flow or is equal to the settling velocity of the smallest, lightest particles being removed. Let's start with determining the surface overflow rate. A water treatment plant has a daily flow rate of 4.8 million gallons per day. The rectangular sedimentation basin is 120 feet long, 40 feet wide, and 8 feet deep. What is the surface overflow rate in gallons per day per square foot? The surface area is 120 feet by 40 feet, which equals 4,800 square feet. 4.8 million gallons per day divided by 4,800 is 1,000 gallons per day per square foot. Now let's apply this equation to a circular center feed clarifier with a diameter of 55 feet and an influent flow of 2,075,000 gallons per day. This time we're dealing with a circular surface area, so we'll need to use pi. You'll recall that the area of a circle can be calculated by pi times the radius squared. Pi is commonly rounded to 3.14 times the radius, which is half of the diameter, 55 or 27.5 squared. This gives us an area of 2,375 and the units are in square feet. We know the flow rate is 2.075 million gallons per day. So we take 2.075 million and divide by 2,375 square feet, which results in a surface overflow rate of 874 gallons per day per square feet.